Do you use straps when you lift? Does using straps make you a loser? I use straps. Wait, am I a loser? In today's episode, I explain to you when you should use straps, why you should use straps, and how you can strap up your exercises. Let's go. If you watch a lot of weightlifting online, you'll notice that a lot of lifters will use straps when they're pulling, when they're doing snatches, and some even when they're doing cleans in training. The actual sport of weightlifting is only one lift at a time, which means that your grip only really has to last for that single lift or the duration of that pulling motion. So when lifters use straps in training, are they actually harming their overall grip strength? Well, yes and no. The sport of weightlifting is only six lifts and each lift only takes a couple of seconds. So when, in, when you're actually competing, you don't need a lot of grip strength. Really you only need enough grip to last you the couple of seconds that it takes to perform a lift. In training, however, when we're doing multiple reps and multiple sets, sometimes that grip gets fatigued. And this can be a really handy reason to use things like straps. Now, do we recommend it all the time? No, of course not. Grip strength is really important. Using your bare hands, getting used to lifting the bar as you would in competition is just as important. And in fact, for some people, it can even modify technique. So here's, um, here's some reasons why I would use straps when I'm lifting. One, if my hands are really messed up, so if I've done a lot of, you know, for example, pull-ups, um, if I've done some cr CrossFit workout that required kipping, uh, if I've been doing a lot of pulls lately or just a lot of high reps uh, and I need to hold onto the bar, then I would use straps. Uh, another reason that we sometimes get newer lifters to use straps would be if they're really stiff. So when they're moving the bar, they kind of just like tense up and straps really allow them to loosen up and you know, keep their arms more like tethers rather than you know, this vice grip on the bar. So those are two reasons why I love using straps. Another reason some people use straps, and look, I'm not a big fan of this, is for cleans. And when they use it for cleans, they use it to sort of improve their front rack. Now, I would rather you just practice front squats with a full grip of the bar than do that, because it seems less dangerous and it seems less stress on the wrist. When would you not use straps? Well, I try to avoid using straps when I'm cleaning, obviously, and when I'm doing you know, less than you know, uh, triples and snatches. So if you're doing doubles, if you're doing singles, definitely there's almost no reason that you need to use straps unless your hands are beat up. Another time you might see people using straps would be things like heavy shrugs, uh, lat pull downs, um, any of the accessory exercises. And to be honest, I don't really care if you guys do that because a lot of the time your grip is gonna be a limiting factor. And when your grip is your limiting factor in those movements, it doesn't really matter because they're meant to be isolations anyway. We're not, we're not really training uh, the grip then. There are a couple different types of straps, so I'll quickly show you those and then uh, we'll go from there. Here are three common types of straps that you might see in a weightlifting gym. There are a couple more, like things like figure eights, and I thought I did have a pair of figure eights, but I seem to have misplaced them. Um, the first type would be you know, a simple cloth uh, strap. This is just taped together. Basically, it's a strip of material that you'd use to wrap around the bar and lock yourself in. Now, the strap itself does not lift the weight, if that makes sense. Your grip on the strap is what tethers you in, all right? Same thing with the next one, and actually all of the straps. Um, this is a cotton strap. This one's actually from Mars Strength. Um, these are actually my favorite straps as well. And they just hook out onto the bar as well, similar. I like just a loose, curl on the bar, there's no need to wrap over and over again to get a really tight grip because especially when you're doing things like snatches, you do want it to be able to easily come off. All right? The last one is my Iron Mind straps. These are actually my oldest pair of straps. Um, these are the most heavy duty and you might see these you know, with people doing things like Strongman. And in Strongman, uh, there are events that you are allowed to use straps. And this is one that I would wrap all the way if I was doing some sort of strongman workout where I needed to you know, have the strongest grip possible. I'll just uh, quickly show you how I put a strap on on the bar. So if you put your straps on, make sure that they're flush with your hand and that the strap hangs basically in the middle of your index and thumb. All right, so from the front, it'll look like that. 
and from the back like so. You're going to go under the bar, right? And you're going to pull it tight, right? And then hook just to the side of your hand. Now you can roll it into place and that gives you a nice strong grip. All right? And that's the cotton strap. And let's say I was snatching or doing some sort of movement where the bar would need to, I would need to let go of the bar. It basically just comes off straight away. So I'll show you once again with the smaller straps. These are Kush's ones. Again, pull through and to the side and then wind it on as hard as I can. And that gives me a nice firm grip. Again, if I pull out, the bar's just gonna let go. All right, last one is the Iron Mind strap. Remember, we want the strap itself to be between our index and thumb, and we're gonna put the strap around and pull tight, and that's a tight grip. Now, if I was gonna do, use this for heavy deadlifts or heavy farmer's walks or anything, I can wrap the strap around a few more times, and that'll give me a stronger grip, but if I am weightlifting, well, first off, I probably wouldn't recommend using these straps, but I could use that and then they'd still slip free. Hey guys, I hope you found that video really helpful. If you did, I'm sure you'll like this next one as well. Um, and guys, please subscribe. We'd love to have you around more often. And if you are interested, we do have this gym. So feel free to book in and come and train with us. See you guys next time.